And we're just going to go over some techniques on how to uh, get some images ready for Substance Painter. So I'm just going to go to Photoshop and hit New. Now I did a screen grab of kind of a screwdriver handle. Um, this is just randomly picked and you can see it's 782 by uh, 350. So I'm going to go ahead and make a preset of a thousand by thousand. Um, usually it's pretty good just to go ahead and keep a one to one ratio uh, for your material. So I'm going to hit command V. Um, this is my uh, product. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and delete the uh, bottom layer. All right. And this will have an alpha channel around it. I'm going to hit command T or transform. Uh, I think you can hit uh, Alt, and it should constrain it uh, in the right direction. I'm just getting it uh, as big as possible without getting it pixelated. Again, you'll, you'll find better images. This is already pixelated uh, already, not the best quality. And again, this is just from the internet, so this is just for educational. Uh... All right, so I just used the, uh, basically, if you don't know what the magic wand tool is, selecting the white. Uh, tolerances up to 2%, so it's a pretty big chunk. So I'm just going to go ahead and start uh, cutting this down, and basically I'm just want really just a logo. Uh, we could definitely use the red, but I'm just going to go ahead and kind of cut it across here, keeping the majority of the uh, logo. I'm trying not to get rid of that logo. So I just used my marquee tool, uh, clicked and dragged, and Hopefully everyone knows how to use a marquee tool. Uh, by this point, we've used it on Maya and other products. And I'm just gonna square this off just like that. So basically, this is gonna make it easy for me to kinda, uh, I'm gonna say spray tan or spray uh, this imagery onto uh, our substance form. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Save that as you can either a PNG or a PSD. And I think I'm gonna save it as a PNG. And a PNG will give you the alpha channel, so I'll make sure I do that. So in the next video, I'm gonna kind of compile it with this one. I have to stop this one and get the other one ready, and I'll put them together. But basically, we're getting this uh, ready so we can spray it onto our um, screwdriver. This tutorial, we're going to basically kind of spray on a uh, logo, and I go to Photoshop and show this. So sometimes it's easier. Uh, I'm trying to add handle color, which you can probably paint over this. But uh, if you're really going to do this, I would probably cut out the logo itself and get rid of the black. You'll see that the black is going from kind of a black to a dull gray here. So you can see it's going to come up with some issues, but Again, we're just kind of wanting to spray on logos or some sort of treatment onto the surface. Um, I'll show you an example of a fish uh, where you can just spray on the whole fish where it just makes sense and you're doing uh, symmetry and so forth. But here we're just trying to get some ideas how to spray on some color and also uh, down the road use that black and red for uh, our colors. All right, so let's go ahead. I saved this out as a PSD, which works, and also a PNG. So I'm gonna go back into Substance Painter, and this is um, really quickly, I didn't save my file from last time, but I really quickly put that aluminum on there. I think we went through a couple grunges and scratches and stuff like that. Very hard to see on the surface, it's so uh, small and thin uh, versus a, a flat piece like the handle. All right, so the handle uh, is just like a Photoshop, or not Photoshop, Maya. You can hit Shift and snap it into a position. And basically what we're wanting to do is uh, basically put on a surface here. You see I have my cloning tool. Uh, I need to learn how to use a cloning tool a little bit better, but it's in a fixed position. It's kind of like Photoshop where you hit Alt, get your source material and start painting. Uh, you do need to kind of clear that out. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go into a, a new layer and it's gonna be paint. Uh, in just a second, also I'm gonna go ahead and import my texture and show you how to do that. I've already done that. Uh, import resources, add res resources, and I actually turned my handle uh, 90 degrees uh, since I know my format of my handle is an upright position. 
So I'm just bringing my PSD. Uh, it'll ask you what it is. Make sure you say it's a texture, not an alpha. Alpha is like if you're making a brush. And also um, current session is fine. All right, import. You'll see it pop down here. Again, it was already there just a second ago. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna get out of this clone tool, which is just like Photoshop. If you wanna get into a clone tool, that's great. Uh, right now we're gonna go into something called uh, projection. All right, so again, I made a layer here that was uh, a paintbrush. And we have now, you can see my image of that PSD, which is uh, showing alpha channel. So outside of it, there's no image. Inside of it is this within, out, within the alpha channel. All right, so it's just like Photoshop. I'm just gonna uh, kind of put this into this area here. All right, so I'm not really interested in this text here. I'm just kind of spraying this all red and this all black, all right? So uh, you'll have an alpha channel. If it's uh, dots and so forth, you may want to turn it to a kind of a shape like this. Make sure your color, uh, height and rough is on. It's all right, you really don't need this. Uh, you can turn all those off if you want, uh, but I'm just gonna keep them on for this uh, tutorial. All right, so you just kind of spray it on. You can see it goes all the way to the top, and you notice it's not touching uh, the uh, tip or the metal part because you see over here we're, we only selected the handle not the top all right so this is important to understand kind of the policies that we're not policies the procedures that you're doing or the pipeline all right so i'm just spraying on again we have some issues with uh, the logo and so forth uh, spilling over so let's go ahead and uh, get out of that we'll go back to our paint tool and actually, I'm going to go down to my bottom one. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to add a new layer and pull this under. All right, so we have this black, and you know it's hard to kind of select these colors, so I, want, I don't want it gray. I go into here and hit uh, my color picker. I try to find something that's a very similar color so it doesn't get too washed out and so forth. All right, all right, there we go. And so you can see uh, we can do another layer and just uh, paint this and make the handle since it's really uh, not that important. And we could also spray this on the other side too. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and hit Shift, Alt, and Shift it one more time. Just on the other side so we can have this handle. I'm going to go ahead and hit the projection again. All right, line that up. Best our ability. Again, uh, the red probably won't match up. We're gonna do another red over that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray it on. And you may wanna look at your uh, stroke capacity, make sure it's 100%. If it's at like a lower uh, range, it won't, uh, won't work. All right, I wanna show you some other tutorials that I have here where you can actually uh, make this into a bump surface. You would do that in black and white. Uh, but for now, uh, this is good enough. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get out of that um, mode. I think there's an escape key to uh, get out of that, but I just click on here to get out of it. All right, so you can see uh, what I was talking about uh, with just cutting out the logo. You can see this black is not really merging together. We could do a clone, merge these down together, or clone it, uh, but I'm not really uh, concerned about it. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and do another fill layer on top of that. And you guys have done add with a black mask. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and right click and add paint. All right, I'll we'll use this as, let's see what there is for paint. All right, and I'm gonna see if I can find a different uh, painting tool. All right, so sometimes you can find like a block or a square Again, it's early in the morning. <laughs> you can look through this a little bit better than I am. I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to grab this arrow, okay? I am going to go up on the size of it because I really just want it uh, pretty big. All right, and I'm going to go back to my color and I'm going to pick this red. All right, it's, it's hard to pick the red because it, again, it's falling off because it's an image based on a real thing. I'm going to go to here. All right, so here I'm going to go back to my paintbrush. Hopefully it's working. And I'm just going to uh, paint 
and I'll say maybe I hit Alt and Shift. All right, so I'm just going to make a hard line here. All right, Alt, and you see, just kind of wanted to make it uh, unified. All right, so we're kind of a little cheating here. It's not, it's not going around all the way uh, perfectly. There are probably other ways of painting this, but I'm just trying to get a nice sharp line. Again, I'm hitting Alt and Shift, trying to find a way of getting. And there's probably a million ways to do this. I'm just not doing a good job here. All right, we're gonna hit Alt and Shift. All right, you get the idea. Uh, we'll do that down here also. Hit Alt and Shift. All right, you can see it's uh, definitely a little bit different here. There's all there's other ways of stenciling this, but anyways, I'm just going to just cover that area. You can see I'm doing a horrible job. All right, do not do what I did. All right, also sometimes it's easier just to paint over here. You can also paint on this side too. So you could actually, let's go back to the painting tool and we could probably have gone, and you can rotate your brush and so forth. So we could have kind of probably gone in here and painted definitely a different uh, brush. There is a circle one and I'm not able to find it. Uh, right off the bat. So take your time. I'm really whipping through this pretty quickly. This is a good one too. So uh, you can go in here and really get a nice curvature. And I think because I'm recording it's going really slow. Anyways, I, I'm going to stop there. This is really quickly how you bring in a uh, surface color in here. Also uh, logos and if you have a PSD, so much better than what I'm doing here. Uh, that looks really bad over here. All right, we're gonna just focus on here. All right, so really quickly, you just wanna kind of get textures and then also add layers of grime on top of that. Uh, so we can go ahead, add one layer of black mask. Uh, we're gonna do a grunge or generator. I'm gonna add dirt. All right, so that's really dirty. I don't like that color. I'm going to find a little bit more organic uh, tone. Yep. We can also do a triplanar on this. So if you do a triplanar so it sits on there correctly. All right. So let's see what it, just adding some little bit of dirt to it. Uh, helps. Um, we will do multiple passes of the dirt. Uh, also with the dirt you can add definitely some roughness to it. So as you shift over it you can see that roughness patch. You can really see the roughness patch working. Also to add a little bit of height, some grunge. All right, so there you go. Really quickly uh, we have our Screwdriver almost done. Again, you would have done this a lot better with definitely this sight line and so forth. All right, I'm going to stop the recording here. I'll show this in class, uh, but you have this as a as a reference uh, for what to do. All right, so this is quite apparent that line, and then this line here too is really bad. All right, I'm going to stop there. You can see definitely the grunge. You can definitely do curvature. I'm going to do one more thing. Sorry, I can't stop it. Uh, Add black mask. And then we're going to do a grunge or a generator. Sorry. Then we're going to do a curvature. That's a good one. And probably want to reverse that. Gonna invert it. All right. You see, it was uh, all black over here. So we're gonna do a global blur. 
right. This helps grunge it up too. Contrast. There we go. And we don't want that uh, white. Again, I click on here. And I'm going to subsample some of the color that we already have. All right. This, this just starts to add some uh, depth to our textures. All right. I'd also uh, go into roughness. And you really start to see uh, with the roughness pass, that it'll, it'll add some sheen and some shininess to it. All right, so you definitely make sure everything's triplanar. I don't know what where that's from. Uh, I'm gonna go a little bit on the height. See what happens here. Not much. All right, that's pretty good. So I won't stop there. Again, lots of issues with it, but you can get the idea. Uh, again, your tool is probably going to be seen at this level, very small in the VR. No, I don't think anyone's going to get up too close to it, but uh, you try to do your best in getting the textures on there. All right, I'm going to stop there. Uh, hopefully this is enough for you all to get started.